events that would change the world in one second. And uh, the events that could change the world in one second. And what was the first one? The eruption of, of like... Of Yellowstone? That's right, yes. The first one on the list was the eruption of Yellowstone Super Volcano. That would completely change life, not only in America, it would change life, well, in the whole, entire world. So then we had, when the, if, these are events, one second event that would change the world. And totally, millions would be dead within minutes. And then the big one in, in uh, Los Angeles was another. We're not going to spend time on these. We've already dealt with them yes. on other shows. Yes, the big one in Los Angeles that lies on that fault line of the Ring of Fire, which we know that 90% of all earthquakes occur along that Ring of Fire. And I'm concerned about this third one because what it's about is the New Madrid Fault. We have been pushing Israel again to give up more land. And this is really scary. That's right. And at the New Madrid fault line, what happened? It would literally split apart America. And it would be like there is a sea going between America. All these things shouldn't make you upset. Water will no longer be pumped into your home. Have you thought of an altern alternative to water? I mean, how you're going to get it how, get when it's not being pumped in? Mm -hmm. And there's other reasons water can go out. Our enemies plan to poison the water. And God showed me it's go there's going to be great poisoning of water supplies in the final days the, to bring us down. They want to bring us down. The Antichrist will not be able to reign if freedom is reigning. They, you, you're going to have to want to sign up for him. Mm -hmm. You want to sign up for his deal. Mm -hmm. You want to sign up for the card or right. whatever he has yes. so you can get food and all. What happens with this EMP? There would be no internet. Oh my God, what would the children do with their thumbs? They're going to go like, they're going to go into spasms. They're yeah, going to go, la, 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 la. They'll, they'll go thumb crazy, you know? And, and, but there'll be no internet. I mean, the work, the computer won't work, so most companies won't work. What happens when you're, you can't even communicate with your phone? The party's over. And then you're, you know, that, I got a wonderful iPhone. I'm, I'm an electronic nut, too, because I started out with black and white television. Uh -huh. I started out before we had recorders. Uh -huh. So we got more technology now. Here's Lori's phone. There's more te technology in this than there is in, in a whole TV station, you know, back in our days when we were starting. Absolutely. But this won't work in those days. No. And uh, then, mm. the, of course, no television, yeah. no radio. No ATM machines. There's no banking anyway. Your debit card and credit cards won't work. Electricity, gas stations will not function. Uh, most people won't be able to do jobs with electricity. And unemployment to, would just collapse the system. And uh, commerce would be brought to a standstill. Hospitals will not function. My. So what are you going to do? I just would advise you to know what, get, get friendly with your doctor. you got to have a community. Yes. Build a community of people in your church. That's what the church is. The, the church is to be made up with all those yes. who can build. That's, That's right. why I keep telling you about my family church when they were, they were, when I was a little teeny baby. But what they did during the Great Depression before I was born, excuse me, they built a church. Mm -hmm. They lived through where we're going with no money. But it was the church that survived. Yes. 